neurosism longing journey, I think is the, the third word. The, the piece offers so much interaction with the orchestra and I'm especially excited uh, to do that in Flanders because the Dvorak Concerto calls for excellence in all departments. Yeah? So we have the wonderful string sound of the Flanders Orchestra, we have excellent wind players, woodwind players and brass players. The fact that we have such great individuals and also individual personalities at these instruments um, will make these performances very special and very individual, I would say. Because Dvorak not only assigns certain harmony and melody to uh, instruments, but he also assigns characters. Um, for example, the characteristics of the of the flute solos are very different than what he puts in the clarinet, for example. Every three years I throw away my cello part and I, I make a new part and I, I make uh, new discoveries throughout. I have the manuscript of the piece, which I'm going to bring to the rehearsals because I promised our conductor that I would bring it. In, in the manuscript you find so many details that are overlooked in the print and, and also studying a manuscript is like a like an emotional explanation of the notes that are on the page because of the way they are written. Dvorak was not very convinced about the cello as a solo instrument. Uh, he was actually complaining that in the low register it's just growling and then the upper register is squeaking. But then he heard uh, the Victor Herbert cello concerto. He heard this piece and suddenly he realized, aha, this is possible with the cello. I'm, I'm gonna write for this instrument. When I think of the journey of the Dvorak Concerto, I think of the journey of my own life. And I think that is an invitation to all the listeners uh, that, that join us for these concerts. to See how does this music relate to, to your own feelings and to your own life. And great music can do that. You can connect with the, with the music on a general level, but especially on a very personal level. Nostalgic, personal insightful. This symphony speaks very well from the beginning to the end also because of this particular you know motto to define the first three notes of, of, of the symphony and also to, to end the symphony as well the FAF. It's from the very beginning to the end it just flows uh, without any stop and even though you have four movements. Both these pieces speak from, from the heart of the composers. Forjak, with all the, um, the intensity of, of his own love for, 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 for Czech music, for the music of his country. And Brahms, just with this kind of, you know, kaleidoscope of, of, of feelings through music, it's, this, this incredible, strong presence of Hungarian rhythms, of Hungarian kind of, you know, influenced um, melodies. You know, having a contemporary piece and then having a cello concerto, but also having the great music of a composer that that doesn't get played often, like Martinu, and and then such a masterwork as 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 uh, Brahms Symphony Number no. Three. I think obviously I'll, I'll try to to first of all, you know, concentrate into making the best out of you know a musical intention, but also to be as as convincing as we can in order to, to really project this, this um, sense of security and, 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 and commitment to the music that we're playing, regardless, you know, the, um, the, the, that the piece is famous or not, trying to absorb the music and, and, and own it as, as, as something that, you know, that, that then becomes part of ourselves, you know, on stage. Um, one of the great things about um, a performance is that you have the chance to just go back home different, you know, and I think this symphony, Brahms' third symphony, makes you that immediately. I mean, I, I, you get, you, you definitely um, are different from the moment that you arrive and the moment you leave. Not only with great technical playing, but also with a lot of heart. I think it's an orchestra that has a lot to say musically I love to say with with a lot of heart and, and I, I enjoy that very much and especially with this repertoire 
it's going to be a, a thrilling experience for sure. Mm -hmm.